Hey everybody, Larry Lawton here. Do I have a great show for you today? I have Jay Kleitz. Yes, Jay Kleitz, the actor Lester Crest Woo! from GTA. So we're gonna have a great conversation. You're gonna learn a lot about uh, Jay, Lester, call him what you want, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. Before I get started, check our YouTube program out. Check our Patreon program. We have a great Discord group. Huge fan base there, so check out Discord as well. It's Larry Lawton Julie on all those platforms. You know we have merch, we have everything. Let me get into this interview right now. I've been waiting for this for a long time. I mess with Lester or Jay online. Welcome, Jay. Glad to have you here, buddy. Hey, oh, Larry, it's such an honor to be here, sir. Glad to do it. So so glad to reach out to you and all your fans who might know me better as Lester. Ah! <laughs> you, you know, he, like we got so many questions for you. And, and Jay, let me just give a little bit of background. Uh, I met uh, Jay. I'm going to call him Jay Lester. You guys out there all know who he is now. Now you know what he looks like. Totally. And he's also in our million subscriber video. And I want to thank you for that, Lester. Uh, Lester. Jay. My pleasure. Uh, I answered to both. Don't worry about it. I answered to both. I, we're going to ask you about that. But anyway, I really wanted to thank you for that. that my really, pleasure. You know, made my day. A lot of people really enjoyed that. They Good. mentioned it and, and and they asked a lot about you. Great. And that's why I said, Peter, we got to interview uh, Jay and, and, and just find out who he is, what he does. I mean, how this all came about. And I think our, our fan base will love it and they will. Absolutely. First of a little thing, you're from New York? Yep. Uh, or you're in New York? Well, I, I grew up in Jacksonville, Florida, but I've lived in New York almost 20 years now. Uh, New York City is, is, is where my heart is, that's for sure. And where in New York you live in, Jay? Um, so I, I was in Williamsburg for many years, in the East Village, and then uptown in Harlem. And we actually just uh, this year finally moved out to the Burbs. We're in Jersey now in a little town called Montclair. Oh, um, I know so it well. I was stationed at San Sa Sandy Hook, New Jersey. Oh, yeah? Oh, nice, man. Oh, I love Sandy Hook, actually. Uh, it's a great beach there. I was stationed there in 1981, Jay. No, shit, really? We, we actually went to the beach at Sandy Hook, New Jersey this, this summer. It's gorgeous out there. Absolutely gorgeous. And, yeah. and a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, being from the Coast Guard, right. uh, you know, where I like the best. Then Sandy Hook is one of them. But you, now you're a New York-based guy, correct? Yep, you, you, exactly. What do you do besides GTA? Um, so I've been fortunate in my career, man. I've done a lot of different things. Uh, I've done a handful of Broadway shows. Uh, I'm a singer and a dancer type of guy uh, when I need to be. Uh, I've done a lot of television, you know, guest stars and recurring roles on TV series. Um, done a lot of commercial work too, TV commercials, voiceovers for radio and stuff like that. Um, a lot of different stuff. It, it, it's been uh, fun and, and I've been very fortunate to kind of dip my toe in, in all the ends of this this business. Uh, and, and more recently, I've become a producer and my company's shooting its first feature film this year, which is very exciting. Uh, in April, we're shooting that. Check out Hondo Productions. You can find us on Facebook. Um, but we're very excited about that. So uh, yeah, man, I'm, I'm an entertainment business junkie. You know, I, I can't get out of this thing. <laughs> well, I, that is impressive. I didn't know you were on Broadway or, or plays Broadway off the yeah. road, wherever you were at. Yeah. That's pretty impressive, actually. Yeah, it's wild. It's, it's um, you know, it's uh, Broadway is, is an incredible beast. It's um, doing eight shows a week, uh, which is, you know, standard for any show, any actor. If, if you're on a Broadway musical or, or a play, you're doing eight shows a week. So it really kind of takes over your life, and it's of course very physically demanding, and and uh, leaves you exhausted a lot of the time. Um, but you know, there, there's as they say, there's nothing like live theater. You know, getting to respond to that uh, that crowd in the moment, um, especially you know, sort of depending on the show you're in. Um, some are a little more interactive than others. I did Rock of Ages for a bunch of years, which is the uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I did that for a bunch of months, um, but did it a bunch of years ago. It was. Uh, uh, you know, that's it's the one with the, all the 80s rock in it, and that was, like, totally wild. And, and, like, people would be all drunk and insane in the audience and talking to you in the middle of the show. It's completely wild, and, and I loved every minute of it. Just rock and roll madness. <laughs> you know, I really feel bad for actors, for Broadway actors, because of the coronavirus that's really uh, shut down. And, and, and it's yeah. really sad. My, my heart goes out to all my theater friends. It's... it's uh, there's just nothing to be done about it right now, and, and I think we're still a ways out from that um, coming back. Um, and it, it's brutal, and it's it's the actors, it's it's all the crew that works there, it's all the producers, it's the people that run the you know Broadway houses. It's 
Um, you know, not everybody knows this, but Broadway brings in more money in New York City per year than every New York City sports team combined. It is a massive business with a ton of people that, that remain employed uh, and, and, you know, living their lives in it. So it's it's been hurtful to a lot of people. But, uh, you know, it's also a crazy, difficult business. And, and by nature, we're a resilient bunch. So, you know. People will come back and, and, and get back into it as soon as we can. Wow, I didn't know that about the sports and the money. That was just a little tidbit I just found out. Yeah. I mean, that's that's mega then. Oh, I mean, it's obviously. huge, huge, huge money. It, it's uh, it's a, a vital part of New York City's existence. I, I used to even go off Broadway. It's funny. Oh, sure. We went up there with three, three couples, and we saw a play. I'll bet you heard of it. Seven Naked Men Dancing. <laughs> yeah, of course. And... It was so funny. Oh, yeah. We brought a couple with us from Indiana. Right. And it was myself uh, 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 and Teresa and another couple. And we brought this. We didn't tell them. And just watching their reactions. And we're New Yorkers. We don't care. Right, right. The other guy. Oh, but Jay, we had oh, such sure. a blood. But I love Broadway. Off oh, Broadway, yeah. Off Broadway. I mean, King to. Yeah, man. But we're going to get back into you, Jay, because yeah. we're going to talk a lot about Lester and you, and it's sure. great to know what you're doing, and I hope maybe someday we're going to work together, Jay. I think we are, man. My fingers are crossed. Getting to know you, you're a real good guy, and you know we tease you. a lot. My fans tease a lot. Yeah. And I tease a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. I say, you know, who's the real crew boss? <laughs> it's me. I said, Lester I... can't do it. Lester's going to give you a run for your money, Larry. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, come, <laughs> come on, on, Larry. Oh, that's funny as hell. <laughs> the, you know, one of the the GTAs I saw with the Lester, and uh -huh. when he, the character of uh, oh, uh, Lamar, or one of them, yep. was yelling at you, and you backed down, yeah. and I'm going, that's no fucking crew, boss. Yeah. If that was me, I'd fucking shoot him. You can't back down, can you? But, yeah, I just can't. But Jay... Lester's not a physically imposing guy. You know, that's his That's that's his struggle. <laughs> he, he's not a fighter. He, he's a thinker. But sometimes that doesn't quite get you out of a jam, I guess. Well, we're going to get into Lester right now. Obviously, yeah. how did you get the part of Lester? Gosh, it, it, it was uh, an incredible stroke of, of luck and good timing, really. I, I went on the audition like I went on any other audition. Uh, when I did, I had no idea, you know, the scope of the thing. I just knew I was going in for a video game. Um, I did not know that it was going to be something that went on for years and years and years. I would, didn't know it was going to be, you know, uh, something on this scale. Um, and I just went in like, you know, like I do and behaved like an idiot. And uh, somehow I was the right kind of idiot, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> and and booked the role one audition that was it never even had a call back and um now when you got that role you didn't know what it entailed did you start researching did you know what they wanted to do with your character i didn't know uh, shit did they make your character <laughs> no. he he doesn't look like you yeah it's like it's me if i i was blonde and bald maybe a few pounds thinner yeah <laughs> but it's <laughs> They're generous that way. But they, yeah, it's like, it's funny actually that you mentioned that. There's a picture floating around on the internet and the dude looks more like Lester in real life than I do, which is like a very surreal kind of mind bender to see some guy that looks more like me than me in a weird way. <laughs> but you, you can find that online. That is real funny. Yeah, no, I, I had no idea. I, I I just they, we started the job. I mean, of course, they're they're very secretive of, about everything with good reason, right? Um, so I, I knew very little going into it, and and it just kind of kept going. And and at one point, I finally realized, like, oh, this is like a big thing that's going to go on for a long damn time. Now, do you do you get a say in how things go, or is it just writers and you just voice over? Uh, no, re really. So it, it's for the most, you know, it's all written. Like they they hand me the pages. Um, I sometimes will, will give it a bit of my own flair and, and they're cool about sort of letting me put my uh, my flavor on it a little bit, um, which is fun. You know, the, the, the folks that work there are all very cool and it, it's always a blast uh, hanging out and working with them. They're good people. Um, Rod, especially the director is just great and um, all of them are. But we, you know, they give me the script and, and I kind of put a little of my own thing on it and, and uh, we play around a little bit and... It's, um, I will say, it's, so it's not just voiceover, it's, it's full body, face, voice, everything. Um, they put you in the mocap suit, the motion capture suits, right? So 
neck down, you're in this skin tight suit with the little like sensors all over you. Uh, and you have to get like plugged into the system so that they're like reading your sensors. And then you wear this helmet with a little camera that looks back and it's, um, you know, it's, it's pretty intense. Uh, and, and so you're, you're spending your whole day like acting in this crazy, like skin tight bodysuit. Uh, but it's fun, you know, Let Lester has kind of a funky physicalization anyway. So uh, I guess it kind of helps me in a way to be a little like uncomfortable, but um, yeah, it's wild, man. It's, it's, it's the technology of it is intense and, uh, and watching it grow over the years, you know, the, it, what, what it was from the very beginning uh, was not what it was by the end. You know, they're always improving that technology. It's very cool. Uh, do you prepare any certain way for this role? Um, you know, not really, to be honest. It, it, it's, uh, it's a character that um, there are certain scenarios and certain characters and certain scripts that would uh, inspire me to do a lot of preparation and research. With Lester, I, I think it is more sort of um, appropriate for the character to just kind of wing it. And that's what I do. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I don't spend a ton of time like, uh, you know, studying the lines and, and doing research. I just kind of go in there and go nuts. And, and that typically seems to work, which, um, you know, I think there's, there's some truth to that, uh, kind of feeling for, for the character of Lester Crest. <laughs> Did you, uh, uh, Jay, was that your first voice over role, as, or did you do voiceover before that? I know you acted, obviously, uh, on Broadway and a, TV and stuff like that. That is a great question, man. Honestly, it goes it's, it goes back so far, and, and the years, you know how it is, the, the years start to blend together. Well, I sure do. <laughs> I started really, like, my career, mostly in the very beginning, was about on-camera commercials, like TV commercials. Uh, and then it started becoming about theater and a little bit of TV. And, and I came into voiceover a little bit later. I almost want to say they kind of started happening about the same time. But um, yeah, this this was a wild, uh, wild version of sort of VO and then mixing it with the motion capture and everything. It's pretty cool. Did you did you always have like that unique voice? I mean, when you do Lester, when you did Lester on my million subscriber... Oh, yeah. Of I loved your voice. I, everybody go, oh, that's him. Yeah. That's what they say, you know. Oh, that's Lester. They, everybody totally. knows the voice. Was it always like that? Yeah, you know, I, I literally, I, it was something I did in the audition that I just pulled out of my ass at the last second. I was like, I wasn't even really thinking about it. I was just like, what if he kind of talked like this? And he kind of almost yelled everything. Yeah, You know, so <laughs> that's what I did. And that's what they, that they're, it just, I kept doing that. And nobody told me to do anything differently. <laughs> So, so that's how it happened. <laughs> I find though, like as an actor, that's that's usually when I'm at my best. That's improv, and we know that. And obviously, yeah, you are yeah, an actor, exactly. and, and good actors know how to yeah. improv. They really yep. do. Hundred uh, percent. I, I people ask me, Larry, where did you learn your acting? I can't act. Uh, I just try to be as natural uh, as I can when I do stuff for TV or commercials sure. or whatever. And I, you're a great entertainer, though, Larry. You are. The what? There, there's a bit of acting in there. You're a great entertainer, man. And there, there's it's not acting per se, but it's it's you know it's great. Thank you, Les. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. What was your life like before GTA, and how did it change after the game was released? Um, it's funny that you know, I, I, it's certainly the thing I'm most known for as an actor. Um, so uh, it, you know, I, I never got like random messages, like Facebook Messenger things from random people before GTA 5 stuff like that you know like I, I never um you know I, I've never been like stopped on the street per se eh, maybe once or twice for little things but like this is definitely the thing that um sort of I get recognized for the most uh especially if someone hears me do the voice it's you know it, it definitely pops um should do that at a bar oh totally, totally. you know Just walk there's in. some people at that bar oh who yeah gonna totally know play GTA 100 have you ever done I that? think the, the weirdest no, but I'm gonna now. Well, once I can go, <laughs> once I can go back into a bar, please God let that be soon. <laughs> yes, but yes, I uh, agree. Once I can be in a crowded bar again, I'm definitely gonna start shouting like Lester. Do you ever play the game GTA? Oh Lester? yeah, oh sure. I mean, it's been a minute now, but yeah. I mean, when I played, when it came out, I played it all the way through. Love it. It's fucking. I mean, it's the great game. And and on that one. Did you ever imagine people would get as annoyed with your character as they do? They get so mad. They get so mad at me. <laughs> I get some really mean messages too. <laughs> I get a kick it's out hilarious. of that. It's hilarious. 
Oh yeah. I mean, I, I, I the stuff I won't even repeat. Like it's like really mean shit. People get so mad at me. Oh, often. Oh, the I, funniest part about it is like it's a character turn. Oh, totally. The funniest part about playing it myself is that you know when you play against people online like in the you know online room and you're playing actual other people you can put hits on people so i can call myself to put a hit on somebody which is kind oh. of <laughs> and hilarious in a weird way <laughs> that's a good question do you get any special codes or anything yourself or do you know them or obviously i don't get shit they don't give me a damn thing <laughs> Come on, I'm up. still waiting, Rockstar. Where are my <laughs> cheat codes, guys? Come on! <laughs> Although I guess they could argue that since I'm Lester, I ought to be able to like figure out those cheat codes on my own, right? I'm supposed to be the technical whiz, but... Oh, that is funny. Jay is not nearly as, as good at computers as Lester is. You know, Jay, it's funny because I play it now and I'm getting into it. People oh, sure. are sending me stuff and like that. And, you know, they started a whole movement on Reddit, you know. Yeah. Larry to take over Lester Crest, you know. <laughs> yeah. Larry to run the crew. And this is where it all started. Totally. I love and it. And now, I of course, I, I, I say, okay, now we got to get Lester. That's why this is going to be a great, great show. But totally. Because people are going to see that, who you are, and they know who I am. Totally. And they're going to see that you're a great guy, but... It, you're having so much fun with this with this character. Oh, it's a blast. And it's great to know the intricacies of how it's built and, and, and how they make you and, oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Here's one. What's your favorite heist in the, for your character in the game? Ooh, good question. I guess the big diamond heist, the more recent one. Um, I, I'm going to say that one. Lester got to have a girlfriend in that one, and that was a real... I never <laughs> thought Lester would have like a romantic storyline i didn't think that was a thing in lester's future and so that kind of warmed the heart because you know, lester's always stealing shit right he's always ripping stuff off it's great but romance that's harder for lester so i think I'll, i think i'll go with that one who came up with the the wasting disease oh, oh that he had was it was that from the beginning that, yeah. they just said let's make this guy uh... yeah oh totally he, he was always uh which i think was a really brilliant you know bit of writing and, and creation of of character you know he, he always had this uh difficulty this physical difficulty going on from the beginning and that's kind of the like the two sides of lester he's like so brilliant and so capable with his brain and with technology but he he struggles physically so that's sort of the, the yin and yang of him, um, which I think is says a lot about his character. Is Lester planned for the future GTA? Is, I mean, as far as you know? Oh, oh I, I, if I did know, I couldn't tell you. But of course, I don't know. <laughs> the, 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 you know, Rockstar, uh, they run a tight ship. It's, it's like the CIA over there. It's all very hush-hush. So. <laughs> wow. I'll bet. Where are they located? Uh, I mean, there, there are sort of offices in New York. I mean, they're all over the place. There's an office in New York. There's an office in London. I think they might have one... Australia? Am I making that up? I don't know, but there, there's, um, they're all over the place. If it's possible, would you want to work in another division of Rockstar, like meaning another voiceover, another uh, character, yeah, sure, another game? Sure, I did, I did a little, uh, what did I do? I did a character in, in one of the earlier GTA 5. Oh, I did the, uh, what was it, the, the Ballad of Gay Tony or something like that? Um, uh, what was that? What was the name of that one? I forget now, but I did a character in that one. I, I did a, a little little character stuff on um, uh, Red Dead Redemption. So like, uh, yeah, I've, I've worked a little bit in other stuff for Rockstar and I would love to work for him again. You know, uh, the, the people there are lovely to work with. Yeah, you said that and, I, and I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. At least the game that I support and play with my friends totally. and people online are really good people at the beginning. Yeah. Is Lester still with Georgina? <laughs> it's all a big secret, Larry. <laughs> you didn't think that was coming, did you? I didn't did think you? that was coming. I didn't know. I did my research. Uh, yeah, you really did. You really did. That was, that's a great question. <laughs> in my heart of hearts, in Jay's heart of hearts, I believe that Lester and Georgina are on a small island somewhere, deeply in love, uh, rolling around in bathtubs of money. Oh, it, hey, listen, I want to go with them then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Join us. It's great down here. Come on. <laughs> oh, geez, I'm, I'm going. Okay. Did the role ever stress you out? And did you find anything challenging with the role? Um, uh, uh, you said something, let me, before you started, that, I mean, they put you in a suit and they do all that thing, and that, that's pretty cool. But did you ever, like, you know, obviously you yeah. have to talk and your voice is your voice and you're going to do that. 
But I mean, is it remembering your lines? Is it going over too much? You said they're great to work with, but did they ever stretch out? Yeah, I think the the toughest part for for myself or any of the actors is just the hours. You know, like we would look, work crazy long days, and and you're like in these skin tight suits all day, and and you know it it's um. It's a funny thing. I think people don't think of it as a particularly physical profession, but when you're doing this, it's you're putting all your energy into this thing for a few minutes and then you're not. And then you're putting all your energy into this for a few minutes and then you break. And then you're putting, you know, so it's over and over, like these sort of like bursts of energy to do these scenes all day over and over. Um, so it, it is actually sort of weirdly uh, exhausting to do that. Um, and, and we work long damn days. Um, so it's, it's a lot, but um, it's always fun too. You know what I mean? It, it's, it's not easy work, but it's, it's, uh, it's not bad work either. It's fun. Yeah, I, I talked about that a little bit earlier because I did a lot of TV work mm -hmm. and it's long all day. And what you said, you don't realize how beat you are until the end totally. of the day. You literally totally. collapse. And, and there's uh, always a deadline. So I, I can appreciate the work. Yeah. Oh yeah, everybody has yeah, that. Totally. <laughs> Do you get harassed in public? And if so, do you think it was worth it? Like, obviously, the money and everything else. You know, I really don't, unless um, unless it comes up, like, unless somebody says something and, or I do the voice, uh, to look at me on the street, you probably won't guess that I'm Lester. You know what I mean? Like, especially because I usually have this big, stupid beard and, like, my hair is longer and darker than Lester's, so... And, and I don't walk like this, so like <laughs> most of the time, like <laughs> nobody really knows until like it comes up. Um, but then when they once they do, there's always a lot of questions. It's always a lot of like, how do they make the game? Like they want to know about the mocap suits and the, the you know all that stuff. Um, but you know, I, I've I've never once felt um, bad about you know like like harassed in, in a bad way. Like I, I love it, man. Like I, it's I'm very fortunate to have done this job, and uh, hopefully we'll do some more down the line. And and uh, I love it, dude. Well, you know, uh, Lester, when you go into a bar when Corona's over and all that, and you do the line and you do a whole Lester skit right yeah. there, you're gonna have to let me know about oh, it. Absolutely. I'm either gonna fly there and film it, or or just to see what if anybody. Ah! You know, it goes crazy because people are crazy. I notice that myself. Totally. But I'm going to try to slip great. a Larry Lawton somewhere into the script somewhere. Just throw the Larry Lawton. <laughs> I need you to go over Fuck here and people. rob the car, Larry Lawton. Oh, he's going to throw it in there. Well, you might as well say, ah, it's over already, like I say. Yeah, oh, I yeah, think right. heist is over. Police caught you already. <laughs> right. The heist is over. Larry Lawton already did it. Ah! <laughs> All right. What's your favorite voice line with your character? Oh, yeah. What, which uh, heist was it where... Uh, it was one of the earlier ones that we're, uh, <laughs> we would all go, the big one. We, we, oh, God. I'm like spacing on the name of the heist because it's been so many years now. But me and, and Og and, and Solo, like the other actors, and, you know, it, that just became like our rallying cry all day long. Like we would be on, you know, we would say the big one. We do it in the scene, but we'd also like be at lunch, like taking a bite of our sandwich. We'd be like, the big one. Oh, you know, it's just stupid. <laughs> Uh, that's a good question uh, with 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 the other two guys, uh, Lamar and, and Franklin and everybody else. Uh, do you get to know them? And uh, I mean, do you work with them? Are they set guys? Are they good guys? And how's that work? Oh, they're great guys. All all three of them are, are lovely guys. And and yeah, I mean, we we you know you spend a lot of time together. Um, and and I was just talking to Solo the other day. Actually, he, he's such a good guy. And, and Stephen Ogg and Ned Luke, like. Good dudes, and and uh, you know I couldn't have asked for a better better crew to hang out with. You, you definitely become good friends. Well, you just mentioned yeah. three names. Can you tell us which one is which? Uh, Solo is. Um, oh my God! I'm, I'm, I, I, the GTA fans are going to kill me because I'm suddenly spacing on the name. Ah, of at least I'm not oh the only God. one. <laughs> oh my God! I'm going to get in so much trouble. You got uh, Michael Lamar. Franklin. Michael's Ned Rook. Ned, Ned Luke. Uh, Steven Og is, 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 um, the crazy one, Trevor, uh, and Solo is, uh, Franklin. Oh, okay. There you go. You, you, you had to get that I got it. I got it. I just chance. had to, yeah, I just, I just had to find it. I'm getting old guys. I'm getting old. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. What's your opinion of the new, uh, Kyle Persico heist? Uh, don't be mad at me, folks. I haven't played it yet, but I'm gonna. Oh! Uh, I, I know! Busted! Oh, I'm, gonna get I'm a lot coming of mean for you, Lester. Messages. I'm I... coming for you, Lester. Let's do this, Larry. <laughs> I'm coming for you. 
You don't even play the game. I'm up on you. I know. I know. I, 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 can I, I've got a kid and there's a pandemic. I don't know. Whatever the excuses. I was busy with the, you know, something. I don't know. But <laughs> I have to play it. I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm going to for sure. What's your favorite gig as an actor? Uh, you've done a lot of acting. Uh, we went over that yeah. a little bit. You were on Broadway. You did commercials. Did some TV appearances, TV shows. Is this rock star and Lester your favorite gig? And if if not, what would be, or what's some of the other ones you like? Some of my favorites, uh, I mean, this Lester and, and GTA Five is certainly up there, obviously. Uh, other favorites include, uh, I did a little movie called The History of Future Folk, which actually just came on out on Netflix again. Um, it, was, it was on Netflix a few years back and they just brought it back uh, like, a, I think last month, or no, this month. And that's that's a funny uh, sci-fi uh, comedy about a band that I had called Future Folk. Uh, it was this great little indie movie that could, and, and um, it was a very sort of family affair. You know, it was me and all my buddies making that movie together. Um, and it, it kind of did a lot better than anyone ever thought it might have. Mm. Um, and actually, Hondo is the name of the planet that the aliens that we come from. Uh, and that is now the name of our production company. Um, that's because it's Congratulations. all sort of born out of that. Thank you, thank you. Um, so that was, you know, that that one was close to my heart. That was probably one of my other big favorites. That and Rock of Ages on Broadway was like, you know, I, I'm a, you know, rock and roll is my religion, and uh, getting to to do that, and it, I mean, it was just wild. It was a rock and roll madness doing that show. Um, so that was really fun. You know, my, my son-in-law, I guess I call him son-in-law, my girl's uh, son is our actor who plays my alter ego in our Manscaped commercials. The good Oh, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The rock hard air. Yeah. He, they, so everyone don't know that that's family to me. And he does commercials. Right. He's He does a lot of oh, cool. Disney commercials. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's like, he's on the buses and everything. He's a yeah. you know, great looking guy and all that. And, sure. and he does it. What commercials? Did you like doing commercials or did you like TV better? Um, I like commercials better because it's less work and more money, <laughs> but I like TV and film better because it's more meaningful creatively, you know, like, uh, obviously you're getting to do, um, usually something a little, you know, biting off a, a, a meteor bit, uh, if you're doing TV and film and sort of getting to sink into a character a little bit more. Right. I'd say film is really my favorite. If I, if I really had to pick, um, uh, because you kind of get to like, sink into that and be there for a few weeks, months, whatever it might be, uh, and really kind of live it, live in it, and then it's over. And then you're off to do something else. I, I actually like movies myself. I'm a movie junkie as well, uh, Jay. Uh, I just love watching Netflix movies, people movies. I'm just a, an entertainment buff myself, oh, yeah. and I guess that's where I enjoy doing what I'm doing because I do know I'm entertaining people. Have you ever played the campaign in GTA V? And if so, which ending did you choose? Oh, God. Uh, you're beating me again, Larry Lawton. You really are. You're showing me up! <laughs> I don't know. It's been a <laughs> while since I did the campaign. It's been years. So I, I don't remember which ending I did. It all blend, blurs together, you know? Yeah, I'm, I, I, I totally get that. I'm going to get so many mean, angry messages about that, too. Well, that gets to this next question, then. Would you like Larry to be in GTA 6 as the heist planner? It is the only thing that makes any sense. I, I think I think Larry and Lester need to come together and form the ultimate heist crew. We, we could be like a duo boss, you know, mega crew. Oh, you know, that's a good idea, Jay. How about we come together and I bring the real life totally. crime heist. Yes. You bring your technology. Yep. Your my uh, internet guy is telling you about your yep. hacking skills. Oh yeah. We form a conglomerate that can't be beat. I think Rockstar, if you're smart, and I know you are, and if you're listening, a little Lester and Larry combo job for the next heist, y'all. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I like it. I'm in. If, if Jay's in, I'm in. Sold. All right, Jay. What would you recommend for people who are striving to be a voice actor to do first? Uh, it's a, it's so like many businesses, um, it's one that is a little sort of, you know, you got to work your way into it. You got to climb the, the, the tree and, and it's, it's a little clubby, right? Like any other business, you sort of have to earn your stripes. I think, um, as long as you have the talent for it, the, the most important thing is staying power, 
right? You got to really commit and stick with it because it's going to take a while. It's, it's not, um, whether it's voiceover or any other, you know, acting in any other side of this business, uh, it takes time. You know, the, the story of somebody like, getting off the bus in New York and being a star the next day is, I mean, that almost doesn't happen, right? So, um, you know, but there are a lot of us that, that make a real career out of it uh, because cause we decide to stick with it. And that's kind of what it comes down to. Uh, I mean, that's great advice. Obviously, your advice there on sticking with it is something I tell people, listen, it's easy when things are going great, no mm -hmm. matter what you do in life. It's when the things get rough that the people who stick it through yeah. are the ones who become successful at whatever they absolutely. do. Absolutely. I try to instill that, if I can, in any way to young people. Yep, absolutely. Here's one. If you could have gotten the choice, what character in GTA storyline, whether it be the 3D universe, GTA San Andreas or other games, or the HD universe, GTA 4 and 5, would you want to have been? Ooh, like if I could have played any other character? Right. I think I'd have taken Og's Thunder and, and played Trevor because he's so freaking out of his skull. And that would have been so much fun. Like, Trevor is such a batshit crazy monster. And it would have been really fun. I mean, I don't know that anybody could ever outdo Stephen Og, uh, you know, in that role because he was so great. Uh, but I just love the, the character of Trevor. He's such a. I, I'm not as advanced as you guys, obviously. but I, And I don't know the deepness of Michael. Mm -hmm. You know, I hear he, he flipped and I, I said, I, why did he do this? And I'm hearing all the stories mm -hmm. from all, all the people online. And, but his character, I kind of like the way he's just, you know, going through life at his totally. time with his kid and whatever. Yeah. And I guess it's when it when you play it like me and you're a newbie mm -hmm. and you're following it from the beginning, that's the only one you know right now. Yeah, exactly. You know? it, at the, I don't even know Trevor that well, you know. I know Franklin and Lamar. Right. Right. Trevor, I'm trying to think who even Trevor is. I know my guys are going to yell at me, so I better be quiet. I know. <laughs> now you're busted, Larry. <laughs> yeah, I'm busted. You were busted earlier. Now you got gotcha. you. Cups are coming. Right, are coming. right, right. Why does Lester hate the West Coast? <laughs> <laughs> because Lester hates everything and everyone. <laughs> I think I don't, I don't think it's like he has particular big love for the East Coast either. He fucking hates everybody. <laughs> uh, all right, here's one. What scene was the hardest to voice film? The 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 tougher stuff. The tougher stuff is the uh, when it gets super technical and there's a lot of jargon. And and I could probably point to three or four particular scenes over the years. But when it gets like really like you you have like a, a you know, page long monologue, which Lester often has, right? He's a very verbose guy. <laughs> uh, but when he's talking about some of the um, technical aspects of the heist, it just gets hard to like keep all that shit straight in your head and spit it out in the right order. <laughs> yeah, but you don't have to, can you read, like uh, I do like, uh, obviously I don't call it voiceover when I do my stuff with uh, Manscaped or whatever yeah. commercial, I'm doing Rage Shadow Legend or whatever. The, yeah. uh, I can read them. I mean, I get to know how to read them and stuff because I'm not worried about right. the camera. I mean, can you do that or do you have to do it as if you're literally an actor in that scene? Yeah, we, we have to do it. Um, well, both, but primarily we have to do it just like you would shoot any other TV show or film or whatever else. Like they have the cameras all over the place and they've created a space that uh, relates directly to the space that they've designed for the game. So you're walking around, opening doors, doing stuff, saying things. You know, you, when you're in that mocap suit um, and and like with the camera at your face and all, you are full on acting. You know, it's, it's not just the voice stuff, it's physical, you know, face, emotion, character, all that stuff, right? So you do have to do it all. There are supplementary sessions where I'll just go to the office and do like a, in the voiceover booth. Uh, and that's for stuff like, you know, when you call Lester to, you know, do this thing and you just hear him, you might, there's a lot of moments in the game where you just hear Lester over the phone or something like that. Um, so some of it uh, is, a, is just voiceover, but the, the bulk of Lester has been actually, you know, on set uh, filming it. Wow, that's more impressive. The, uh, obviously I get what you're saying because they have to plan for so many scenarios mm -hmm. in the game itself. So I could imagine how many, because I know what it takes for me to do one, one thirty or sixty second commercial. Right. How many lines you got to do and stuff like that. Yeah. So I get that. Okay. Massive. This is one that it, I think got me saying, 
Lester can't be the boss. He's out. He's done. I tell him he's done. Lester's got to go. I put up there. What was your reaction when Trevor yelled? Trevor yelled at you on the last heist of the story mode. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't think Lester's surprised by Trevor's crazy shit anymore. It's all Trevor. Just you know, he's he's a blowhard. He's like he always yelling at people. I think. Lester doesn't care. That's just Trevor being Trevor. But you can't take it as the boss. I know, I know. See, that's 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 like Lester's secret style, though, you know? Like, he's going to take it. He's going to let you do your thing. But then secretly, when you're not looking, he's going to go, like, hack your whole life and take everything you've got. You know, Jay, you're actually sticking up for Trevor now. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I just excused him, didn't I? You Why did you do that? Said, look at this guy. Why? Instead of saying, yeah, I didn't write that line. I wouldn't have put yeah, the yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, right. Just, no, you stuck yeah. up for the writer. It's everything good for you, man. You're great, Jay. I'm a, I got a heart of gold. What can I you say? You do, you do. You're a great guy. <laughs> hey, listen, here's one. You're going to love it. Did you see the clip online? I don't know if you saw it. Where? What was your reaction to the clip of Larry beating up Lester? Ah, I didn't see it. How did I oh. not see that, Larry? Listen, oh some, some guy sends me a clip, and it's my character confronting you, and then beating you up, kicking you, throwing you. Oh, my. That's I said, so these people funny. come up with some crazy shit. And I'm that laughing. That is so funny. And obviously, I didn't know less than you, know, you Jay. And, and I, I said, I... You had to see it because it's been seen. A lot of people say, yeah, and then they come. We got to get a coup together. You got to take out us. You got to do this. You got to make it more real. Gotta... <laughs> uh, I think people sometimes think this is real. <laughs> I mean, people get a little lost in the reality of this thing. They do. They totally oh, do. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Here's, here's one. Uh, last before the last. I'm, uh, first of all, do you have an Instagram? J underscore D underscore Kleitz. Follow me, baby. Check me out. We're gonna put that in the in the link right below. Everybody, click on Jay at Instagram for sure. Check him out in his production company. We'll put a couple of links in there to all his stuff. So make sure you guys check out our links below. That's important. And the last one, Jay, uh, Jay. I'm sorry to take up your time like I am. Don't be sorry. I love it. Do you have any funny stories of the of the shoots or the game itself, <laughs> or even your your Actually, acting life? I'll tell you one right now that, that, that really recently happened. Um, there is, so there was this rumor going around on the internet that I had died. Yeah, that, that there was, was like one of my a, questions. That was one of my questions. I have okay. no idea how that shit happens. I don't know who started that rumor. I don't know what kind of weird, like, news outlets picked up on that story. <laughs> it was so weird. But my friend started sending me these links to like, dude, did you die? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm fine. It's totally fine. And what's then weird is that then there's a bunch of counter links. Where it's like, no, no, no. The actor that plays Lester is still fine. He's alive. It's okay, everybody. But I got all these like comments on my Instagram from people being like, R.I.P. Lester, teardrop. Oh, we'll miss you, Lester. Like they totally thought I was dead. And I'm I'm fine. So you do have positive people. Yes. Oh, oh God. I have a lot of people that are like, that totally love Lester, which is incredibly sweet. Because the question I got from one fan is, ask Lester, why did the so-called Lester died thing start? Do you know how it started? I have no idea. I have no idea. It's so weird. I have no clue how that happened. The internet is a strange and terrifying place. I have no idea how it happened. And what's weird, there's a YouTube video that somebody made, and it's a robot's voice. Like, literally, it's a blank a blank screen and a robot's voice debunking my death. It's like, actor Jay Kleitz, who plays Lester, did not die. That is debunked. Blah, blah, blah. Where did that even come from? <laughs> so where did the rumors that I was dead come from? Where did the rumors that I'm not dead come from? I don't know. Nobody asked me. Nobody asked Lester. Damn it. <laughs> and, 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 you know, that is so funny because... I get it now. I mean, this stuff on the internet that, that happened to me, they have a guy out there, he's some crazy, my problem with Larry Lawton, <laughs> this internet sensation, is a raw. I get these fucking people, and he's coming up with some shit. I have no clue what it is. Oh, my God. And people go, did you hear what he said? I said, actually not until I watched it. Right. But it's amazing because your character is so popular. Yeah, yeah, it's so funny. Uh, he is he is a staple for I think seven years, right? Yeah, 
Yeah, totally. It's been it's been going on for a while. I mean, th when you think about that, and do, and do you know how his character came about? Did they give you? Did Rockstar give you the backstory and everything? Like with Lester, did they come in? Did they say, "Hey, listen, uh, this is the character. Here's where he comes from"? Because it's such oh, deep totally. thing, and you might need some. Of that I don't. Thing. Again, it's been a while since we first started. It's been years, but I don't think they did. I I, I think everything. I know about Lester. I had to just sort of glean from what, you know, his dialogue, what was handed to me. Um, I don't remember ever getting like a, here's the backstory of Lester. But that's actually, that's often the case uh, in whatever kind of acting gig you're doing because, uh, and that's, I think, actually kind of good because it leaves the actor space to fill in those blanks for him or herself, right? And so you can kind of have your own backstory in your mind and that just helps inform the choices you make as an actor. Um, so I think it's actually kind of good not to be told too much from the beginning. Yeah, uh, or you could you don't want to have things messing up down the line. Yeah, I'm sure right. they have their their writers are planned right. way out. You don't you want know, to commit obviously. to something and then have to like backtrack later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that yeah. was a dream. Right, that was right. less than a dream. <laughs> yeah, right, you know right. how they do it on TV shows. Yeah, you know, yeah. Like, oh, he comes back to life. Yeah, he was he really wasn't dead. Yeah, but, totally. Uh, now. Uh, personal, just personal questions for you. Uh, you. You're ready to go for GTA 6, 7, or wherever it goes? I'm ready whenever they are, baby. Lester right. never dies! Left <laughs> wow. And how are you with technology personally? Um, you know, I think I would put myself in the category of, uh, until pretty recent, man, recently in my life, I was awful with technology, and I'm only in the last couple of years getting a bit better because I've just had to make a real effort to do so. Cause I'm not, you know, I'm 42. I grew up in, I grew up pre-computers and it kind of happened right as I was like becoming an adult or you know, a kid uh, who was sort of old enough to know better. So I kind of remember, I'm on that line where I remember both, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I think I was kind of resistant to computers for a long time. And now look at you. Now you're the, you, you're the computer yeah. genius of GTA. <laughs> What can I, I say? I, I've grown. I've just grown so much. Jay, I, I want to thank you. You've been great. I enjoyed talking to you before the show for a long time. I think you're an amazing yeah, guy. Man. Very talented in all ways you can think. Uh, I, I'm really happy for your success with GTA and everything else that goes along. Glad to get to meet you and we'll work with you some you more too. and have fun. And we're going to collaborate. Rockstar, are you listening? Lester and Larry, take it over. Lester and Larry. <laughs> Lester and Larry, take their revenge. Ah! <laughs> we're going to be huge, dude. Huge. Oh, Lester, thank you. Jay, thank you very much, guys. Have a great day, everybody. You got to know Jay Kleitz, who is the voice and character actor of Lester Brad from GTA. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Jay. Thank you.